This episode of Tech is brought to you by Stamps.com. In case you didn't get the news last week, you can download the latest release preview of Windows 8 at preview.windows.com. It's free, it's a fast download. And it's funny, funny, it's not a release candidate in the traditional sense. Oh. No, because they're like, it, it, it's, so release candidate is like, okay, we think the operating system's finished, here's a version of it, figure out what's broken. Uh, in this case, the, the release preview is not feature complete, so it's not really a release candidate. Like there's more stuff to bake into it before it becomes a re gotcha. release candidate. Okay. It's, so the, it, it's just, it's funny. If you're running Windows 8 right now, I would definitely go ahead and download this and run it. Matter of fact, it may have tried to already uh, sort of auto-update itself. Robert Heron said the install was painless on uh, his primary PC, and so far, quote, it's just feeling faster and cleaner. They've done a lot of stuff to kind of clean things up, tighten things up under the hood, which is a good thing, and it makes sense. Because on the surface, the release candidate looks, excuse me, the release preview <laughs> looks almost exactly like Windows 8 consumer preview from February. There's no signs of the new simplified interface they've talked about. There's no tutorials from Metro that we're expecting before the final version. So what do you get? Well, the big highlights are if you're a geek, uh, for the 14% of the US population that uses multiple monitors, hey, there's cool new features for multi-monitor support, like the taskbar can now show up on every window and you can tweak it around. There's new colors for Metro, eh. <laughs> and it's kind of funny, and, and this, people are really kind of uptight about this, because they're basically, Microsoft is integrating elements of Flash directly into Internet Explorer, and of course, so Flash support's gonna be showing up inside, you know, baked into the Metro web browser. Michael Muchmore over at PCMag.com said, quote, you don't get full Flash capability in the Metro interfaces to Internet Explorer, and you don't get it all for all sites. Microsoft worked with Adobe to create a subset of Flash 11.3, and only sites on an approved list will be able to use Flash. So it's interesting. So the idea is that you will have sort of a safe harbor of Flash for those. The, the, the so you don't have a crappy Flash experience. Right. So, yeah. so basically, so Flash doesn't undermine you know, the safety and performance of, of Windows. It's Which is interesting because that's similar to what Apple did just by banning Flash altogether. Well, on iOS. On iOS. Yeah. Well, yeah, not on, not on this puppy. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's an interesting, but it also prevents you from getting that thing like the, the big example everybody was showing was like the Disney.com webpage where if you don't have Flash, it's like, you suck, you need this. But if Flash is pre-baked in and approved by Microsoft, you get the full experience. Hmm. Apple's solution for that was to just eliminate putting the little, you know, Flash broken video button yes. on there. Yeah, so. so just so everyone knows, I know that you can use Flash on OS X. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant on I iOS devices. I knew what you meant. You knew what I meant. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> you're going to see some new apps, sports travel and news, a big metro kind of look and feel to them, tweaks to the Windows Store. Like there's desktop apps you can install from the store, except it's actually links to the desktop apps at the publisher's website. They're not actually downloading. Metro apps you can download directly from Microsoft. Desktop apps you still get from the, uh, from the vendor. Mostly, though, it's it's pretty much the preview. Um, it's a free download at preview.windows.com. And for folks that are skeptical of Metro, Robert says, and we've got, it's kind of funny. The last time I heard really hardcore geeks this cranky about an operating system update was Windows 3.1 to Windows 95, right? And I've got friends who are like, I have friends who buy like the newest SSD every time it comes out, the newest $500 graphics card every time it comes out, the newest CPU every time there's sort of a TikTok generation. Man, they're there, they're dropping their cash, and they're going nuts. I don't understand Metro, Metro's ridiculous, Windows 8 is stupid. Here's the thing, Robert makes a really interesting point. Quote, I'm also at the point where I can type a few letters and have whatever app I'm looking for appear. If I use it enough, I put it on the taskbar. People, if you get used to Windows 8, I think you're gonna like the interface. And if you don't, hey, there's always OS 10, Windows 7, and Linux. Check it out, people. Right now, though, we like Windows 8. There's a free version you can try. The links are up on the website. Go check it out. Do you know if there's any like stability issues? If you, if you update? I'm to going to say there's always stuff. stability issues, but so far, everybody know that's updated has had a fairly painless experience. Good. I always recommend you back everything up to a separate hard drive, mm -hmm. then you do your fresh clean install. Uh, you know, if you're feeling a little more adventurous, still back everything up <laughs> and then go ahead and run the, the install. All right. So. Well, we've got more of your email still to come, but first, it is time to thank one of our sponsors. When you're running a business, working from home, or selling items through online sites, going to the post office, it's a, it's a time sink. It's a waste of time. Going to the post office to send packages, letters, you don't need to do it. You need to use stamps.com instead. That means stamps.com on your computer at home. You never have to go to the post office again, no matter what you're sending. I know because I personally use stamps. Com. I have an account. I got kids. I got work. There's traffic on my island like you wouldn't believe. Hitting the post office takes a lot of time. With stamps.com, 
I don't have to go to the post office. I can buy and print official U.S. postage for any letter or package using my computer and the printer I already own. You don't even need to own a scale because Stamps.com will send you a free digital scale when you sign up. Calculates the exact postage I need. There is no guesswork. It's no wonder 2 billion letters and packages have already been sent using Stamps.com. And of course, they're a sponsor, so we got a deal for you. Stamps.com is a special offer for Techzilla viewers. Use the promo code Techzilla to get a no-risk trial, plus a $110 bonus offer that includes a digital scale and up to $55 in free postage. Stamps.com, people, makes my life simpler. It can make your life simpler, too. Support us by supporting our sponsors, like Stamps.com, and use that promo code Techzilla.